generally speaking, manufacturers are always responsible for ensuring that the products are C marked and, and properly documented, assuming that your product is within the scope of one or more C marking regulations. So we're looking at, say, electronics, medical devices, toys, helmets, bikes, and so on, right? But it can be deceptive. If you look at definitions, definitions of, say, the low voltage directive, you will see that a manufacturer is not necessarily the company that is operating the, the production facility, okay? Let me just read from the low voltage directive, and you will find something very similar in, in most uh, regulations and, and directives, which in turn has a C marking element. Okay, so under definitions, point three, you'll find that manufacturers means or manufacturer means any natural or legal person who manufactures electrical equipment or has electrical equipment designed or manufactured and markets that equipment under his name or trademark. It's the second part that's the key here, okay? If you are having a product manufactured based on your specifications, or even just your brand name, meaning your logo is printed, right? A private label product, okay? Then you are the manufacturer, not the actual factory. And what does this mean? It means that you assume the responsibility of the manufacturer, which in turn means that it's up to you to ensure that the CMARC is properly applied with the other labeling information, tested to be compliant, and properly documented. Let's go to the next part. What, what does that mean? Well, step one, now that you have been transformed into a manufacturer, um, the first thing you need to do is to, is, is to ensure that the product is, is, designed, is designed to comply. What this means in practice is that you need to identify the harmonized standards under the regulation or directive and in turn, implement these into your design drawings, into your schematics, into your PCBs, etc. Okay? Accidental compliance is not really a thing. Especially not if it's, if it's a mechanical or physical properties for toys or, or electrical safety, EMC compliance and, and stuff like that. Okay? Now that we assume that you have created a product that is technically compliant, technically compliant with the harmonized standards under these requirements you can go ahead you need to get it tested issue a declaration of conformity in your company name create technical documentation that's design drawings bill of materials risk assessment user instructions you need to include a doc and any test reports other than that you need to create packaging label files and, and that's the way you actually apply the CMR. markets done in, say, Photoshop or Illustrator. This is not something that the actual factory, assuming you are an importer that is now being defined as a manufacturer. No, you need to, you need to create a, a packaging file. And it's not just the CMR, markets. There's also traceability information to take into consideration. Batch number, manufacturer information. Again, your company name. And this can be confusing. Um, contact point, okay? In any case, you find this, it, this is all available in the directive, this is all public information that I'm just, just you know, sharing from, from the point of view. So again, the, definition is, the definitions are very clear, um, but I've been dealing with situations when companies come to us and they say, oh shit, I got this, this compliance uh, document check from the market surveillance authorities or Amazon. We're not actually manufacturing this stuff, you know, it's made in China, we found some on Alibaba, et cetera, et cetera. And, and yeah, obviously we don't have this because we're not manufacturers, we're not responsible for anything. Well, if it's based on your design or if it's, you got your logo, then you are the manufacturer and you are responsible and it doesn't matter um, if you don't actually have the production equipment, like you, don't, you don't operate the production facility in a house. It doesn't really have anything to do with it in, that case, in, 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 this, in this context anyway. All right, so that's, uh, that's a short introduction to manufacturer responsibilities in the context of the CMARC. If you have questions, you can write a comment on our website in the article, or you can also write a comment uh, on YouTube, and we'll try to get back to you. 
Other than that, you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos related to C marking. So thank you for watching.